Welcome back to the Metropolitan Polo Club in Tianjin. You're with now Sports Live broadcast of the Fortune Heights Snow Polo World Cup. We're just beginning the second chukka of this four chukka match. England leading Hong Kong, China 2-1. If you're just joining us, we had a short break as one of the English players, Jack Richardson, suffered an injury to the eye, caught a mallet to the eye that required some short medical attention. And now we're gathering at midfield for the throw-in to start uh, this second chukka. Yeah, the, you can't say that the, uh, the English players are uh, soft, Tory. They, uh, Max Rutledge, the number one's out there missing a few teeth from one of the earlier games. And, and now we have uh, Jack Richardson probably struggling to look out of one of his eyes because it would be quite swollen now. He copped a mallet to the eye socket and he has a very, very black eye at the moment. So umpires now getting ready to create a bit of a tunnel to throw the ball in. And the ball's been thrown in now. And it'll come out in favour of Max Rutledge for England. First touch of the ball, but hooked out of it by Gerente for Hong Kong, China. Lovely back shot there by Max Charlton. But the first one onto it is Guillermo Torreira, the eight goaler, the highest rated player in the tournament and definitely the highest rated player on the field here this afternoon. And now Facundo Gerente just playing for time here. Just under plenty of pressure, but gets a nice little shot away, trying to get it to Torreira. Now he keeps it himself. Will it be for Kundo Gerenti's time? No, it's going to go wide to the right, and it will be a hit in off the back line to England. Hong Kong, China trying to feed Terera, but actually Jack Richardson, who took that mallet from Terera, is just marking it. Yeah, that's right now. Richardson brings it and hits a lovely ball to the running Max Charlton. Now he'll keep the ball out in front. Max Charlton now taking it. He's going to have to go near side, hooked out of it by Gerente and Terera. Oh, here's the bounce that England were looking for here now. Jack Richardson comes up with the ball, but then Torreira reads the play so well. And then he comes around now taking it. He's going to have to go try and get it past Charlton, who read it but couldn't execute it very well. And now Torreira in space with nobody on him and a little bit of time up his sleeve. He's going to just try and creep this down to within striking range. Keeps it away from the swinging stick of Max Rutledge. And now the ball's gone onto the boards and it'll be Max Charlton for England, the number three on the burst now. Max Charlton, lovely little approach shot, but it's gone a little bit further wide to the left than he wanted. Near side shot required. John Fisher appealing for the foul. Doesn't get the foul, but he gets a little bit of a right off there. Enough to keep Charlton off the ball. And now Facundo Gerente, the four goaler for Hong Kong, China. Hooked out of it very well by England. But Torreira, the eight goaler with the ball at the back, just dancing around in behind Jack Richardson now. Maybe riding to the side where the swollen eye is, and he leaves the ball behind for Facundo Gerente. Now, a little bit of bunching up here, and we've seen that this is when they can get into trouble. So, John Fisher clears it, a lovely big clearing shot, read very well by Max Charlton at the back, hits it in towards the crowd, gets the deflection off the boards. Who's first onto the line? Jack Richardson, and then looking for another deflection, gets a little bounce, gets a good bounce, but the ball stays behind, and Facundo keeps it. Now, John Fisher looking for the back shot to reach him, but it doesn't. And then it'll be a quick back shot now from Rick Rutledge. And again, it comes off the horse of Facundo Gerente. And it doesn't help England at all. But now Max Charlton taking it across field for England. Backs it towards the goal mouth. Looking for it to get to it. Jack Richardson goes for the hook. Uh, goes for the ball. Hooked out of it, I should say. Now a clearing shot. Charlton's going to have to take it forward. And he's playing with fire here if he wants to try and outsmart a, a very attacking Guillermo Torreira now. Charlton checking up hard, going to have to take it around the front, and he does. Max Charlton for England now. Fisher appealing for a foul. <laughs> He's been doing it a bit, riding in from the back with his stick in the air, but umpires aren't having a bar of it, and the whistle has now gone. I don't think John Fisher has actually taken his mallet out of the air. <laughs> well, he can obviously see a line from a long way back, and he gets on it and rides it, but umpires have blown the whistle. And it just looks like they're going to have a, a look into the third man for the um, for the decision here. I'm sure our broadcast team will show us some super slow mo later. But the traction on some of these ponies as they're checking, it's it's uh, it's very slippery out there. Umpires are just uh, saying that the. They need to go and pick up a shoe off the field. You've, I've seen three shoes come off today at the end of the tournament. The the farriers, are, um, the, the shoes are probably ready to come off. Some of these horses will probably go out for a spell after this, so they'll get a, a, a decent break over the uh, the New Year period. Um, and 
the... Uh, I'll give a, a free hit now to Hong Kong, China, down in the far corner. And Guillermo Torreira will take the hit, the clearing shot, really, to try and get this out of their defensive half. And it'll be Max Charlton trying to back it down the line. He does so, uh, but he doesn't get enough on it. Probably because he couldn't hit that one because Facundo Jorinde was a little bit in the way. Big right off there now by Guillermo Torreira. Oh, big hook by Charlton and a good play, but he couldn't execute it as cleanly as he wanted. Jack, uh, sorry, Max Rutledge appealing for the line there. Had to try and keep Fisher out of it. John Fisher and does so. So Rutledge and Fisher having a great battle there at the back. But now Torreira again, probably a little bit too much space for Torreira for England's liking, but he's getting a little bit too much ball. And Jack Richardson may, even though he's got a black eye, just lift his game a little bit. But now Jack Richardson on the attack. He's got a couple of lengths on Torreira, but Torreira is coming. He's going up the centre of the field, so he can shadow Richardson with the ball there. So as soon as Richardson turns towards the goal mouth, he knows he'll be able to pick him up. Now Richardson goes around the front, keeps it himself, turning it now, gets past one, gets past two. He's got a little bit of space. He's going to have to try and just weave his way past the uh, John Fisher, but he hits it there for Max Charlton and England go up again. Now making it three goals to one. Great team goal there by the English. A great team play by this young English team. Look at this. Richardson with a black eye. Takes it around, dances back in behind Fisher and then leaves it there for Charlton and Charlton just pops it through. So very, very good goal. And now, Hong Kong, China on the attack over the advantage line, but a lovely big back shot here by Max Charlton for England. Gets the ball back over halfway for England now. And, ooh, unlucky. Richardson, so that's Torreira claiming for the foul, and you can see him actually leaning over because he took a huge bump for Max Rutledge. Yeah. So let's have a look at the replay on that one. Crowd not moving a muscle, watching very, very closely. The, uh, the ball was uh, resting uh, in an open space. And it just saw so Rutledge. <coughs> the umpires deeming that this ball was too... It was on the halfway, so they were on the other side of halfway, so they've only moved it to halfway, which could be deemed a little bit harsh there for the Hong Kong Chinese team. But anyway, umpires are right, and lovely big shot by... Max Charlton straight to the boards. First onto the line is Max Rutledge, who's looking for a deflection off the boards again for England. And a little back there by Facundo Girente, but now it'll be Guillermo Torreira coming up with the ball, being hard ridden, and he's getting turned back inside out by the defence here of the English. And now he gets around the front now, and he's out in some, in some space. And this is the space that he needed here, because Guillermo Torreira is going to have to try and pull something out of the hat if he's to try and reduce this deficit. Torreira, he's getting English both sides of him, comes off the pony's leg. Will it be Facundo Girente for Hong Kong, China? It is, and it's a goal with 30 seconds left and there's only one goal in it. And really the home team are going to have to look to uh, Facundo Jorente and John Fisher because they are marking Guillermo Terrera yep. very closely. When he gets the ball, they've got one man on the offside and one man on the stick side, and uh, I should say near side and stick side. So anyway, it's now England on the attack. And again, good open polo, and it's getting them back up into those positions where they can actually score some points. But at the end of the second chucker, it is England up by one, three goals to two. It's a great play thus far from the English team. Again, we'll take a short break and return to more live action from Tianjin.